Good morning. Welcome back to the gardens. It's Friday. Thought I'd just nip out early on to show you that uh, when it gets full sun over it, the fountain works. It's been great debate on how we could get it to work because sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it uh, is clogged. I tried putting pieces of sea glass around the bottom of it um, to give the effect of fish swimming and also a little bit of added uh, interest in the gardens. That didn't have any effect. It basically clogged up the fountain and the fountain stopped working. So I thought I'd, uh, while the sun's directly over it, I thought we'd come in and have a, a nice little look at it. So how long have I had it? Well, it's been a few years now. It was bought for Dad as a retirement present. I uh, was coming up 65 and we were out for a day in um, Beverly and the Revenue Market. And this was running, well, a box. This is the box version, but there was a version of this running in, in the market stall. And I thought, hey, so that's how we came to have it. It's quite nice to listen to as well when it's running. Blocks out the road noise. So it's actually flowing from north to south. Even though the breeze tends to blow east, west or west east. But it will never actually flow towards the camera. So I'm going to take the camera around and show you the, my shadow in the background there. What we're getting. show you it uh, when it's sitting out there. There we go. If you just try and hone in those stars a little bit on the right hand side, you might see that the other water feature that we've got, so we've got two, pops up intermittently. It's not on a timer, it does actually work independently and it's just there. Now you could get one of these because this one operates in just an inch of water. And that one tends to operate all day regardless of the amount of sunlight it gets on it. And it doesn't really tend to stop until it gets until it's night time really. Whereas this one needs direct sunlight over it. That's a tip. When you're looking for solar um, features, does it need to be have direct sunlight above it? Or does it can it be slightly out of direct sunlight? Or in some cases does it need a solar panel that you move? You may want to plug one in that doesn't have a solar panel but personally I think the solar panel versions are better because they may run in intermittently but they're not costing you any power on your electricity bill and of course if it's solar you do get tend to get a bit more oh look there I am uh, you do tend to get a bit more of an idea of where you can place one around the gardens, then you're then thinking, oh, I could maybe then position some solar lights. And really, your imagination is endless. And the things that you can put in the garden, 
that are solar operated and that are not going to affect your electricity bill. So with that in mind, I'm going to say, if you've liked what you've seen, that's lovely. You might want to put a like, you might want to subscribe, you might want to hit the notification bell so you'll know when my next content, content is coming online. You might want to comment, you might want to share, you might want to tell your friends that I've got over 250 different clips, videos and um, shorts. So for now, here's a water feature running.